On today's video, we're going to be checking up on the 6.0 lifters and the lifter tray, see if we can reuse them. Now this might be some information if you're building an LS, you might want to know how to do is check your lifters and check your trays. Because if you replace them, you can get aftermarket ones and they can destroy your engine because they're basically a cheap China knockoffs if you don't know what you're looking for. But we'll get more details in this video, so uh, let's jump into it. So I got these down here because I worked hard building this table. It might not look like the best table, but I'm proud of it. It still needs stained and it has no protection. So I'm trying not to get oil on it. So these is basically, you can pick up at the dollar store. They're just like floor mats and stuff. they kind of a felt, heavy duty carpet. They probably soak up oil like a magnet, but uh, it'll keep us from getting what little oil on these under anything. So let's first get our trays out. I'm going to explain to you exactly what we got going on here. I'm going to get oil over my hands. So what I'm going to start with is inspection of the trays. A lot of people recommend to replace these, but if they're good, I don't because you can get aftermarket ones. Because a lot of people want to order aftermarket and they bend and they're flexible. I mean, that's something you don't want because your engine will be destroyed. Now, you can get fake GM ones online too and you think, hey, the perfect one. Nope destroy your engine too. If you do got to replace these, buy from a Chevrolet dealership. Be sure they GM. They are a little bit costly, especially if they buy all four, but it's the piece of mind that matters and your engine won't die. Especially if you did a cam swap, you don't want that to happen. It happened to one of my buddies. So what you want to look for in any lifter tray, you take your lifter, this is a Gen 4 by the way, lifter we'll be inspecting these uh here later in the video i'll be giving you some tips uh you want to make sure they fit tight in here and you don't want them to twist see this one fits pretty good no twisting now you're going to have a little movement side to side here that's that's normal with any lifter check this one check the last one okay that lifter tray would pass now, you're going to have a little side to side right here. That's normal, but you got pressure that stays on that all the time from the push rod. So that helps that. So a little side to side is normal, just as you can see here. Let's check the other lifter tray. We might find one bad. Side to side is normal. Check. Okay. You can't twist it, it's good. Pull it up some. Good. That one's good. That one's good. And these, you know, they got to be held in by your tray. So you want to make sure it's capable of holding all your lifters in too. Because you don't want them falling out. So let's try this one. Can't twist it. Can't twist it. Twist it. Now that one we can twist a little. Not bad. Enough that I probably will replace all four of these. Look. You should be able to see it in the video. And that will let the lifter walk. And you can see this and actually is quite loose. I, the lifter falls out of it. Shouldn't be able to do that. You should be able to take this, put it in, and go like that. So one tray's bad. Check this one. That one's good. That one's extremely good. That one's good. That one's good. So, we know we got one bad tray. Where is it at? This is it, wasn't it? That is. So, we got one tray that we know for sure is kind of bad. And uh, it's questionable enough that it needs replaced. Because this is a very important part of your engine. Some people think it just helps install the 
lifters into your motor and that's it and always actually hold the lifter steady keeps it from walking on the cam so we found one of these bad so i probably order all four from my local chevrolet dealership i'll give them a call and hopefully i got them in stock uh the build's going to need them uh lifters that's what we're on to now they 16 of them we're going to show you how to inspect these my motor was very clean that these came out of, but you can replace these if you want to. Be sure they ain't knockoffs. The actual GM ones, you see how it's got a little notch here? I try to post a picture of a fake one and an actual, you know, GM one so you can use them to compare. But this is actual GM. You, the fake ones is known to break and kill engines. Uh, you want to check the wheel for any kind of scuffing. And this wheel is good. It's got a little bit of dirt wear, but nothing major. Let's get something like that off with. What we're doing is inspecting the wheel for actual side-to-side -side wear marks. Like what was cutting down the lobe of the cam. If it was, we need to replace it. This one just shows what's been riding on the cam. So one lifter might have a little damage. I'm not 100% on that because, you know, that tray ain't completely bad. It just got a tiny bit of movement. I don't know if that little bit's going to be enough to wipe that engine out. It would have soon. So, want to check, as I said before, your wheel. And also make sure it spins good. Make sure it ain't no dirt in it, no catches. If you got a catch in it, then it needs to be replaced. This one spins very good. I don't feel no catches in it as I twist it. Also inspect it for cracks. You don't want no cracks around here. Those look extremely good. Now you can take these apart and clean them but they work good in the engine. If you had them on an engine there's no point in cleaning them. You just get yourself into a headache. You can damage stuff inside your lifters and then you know you got enough failure points. So you don't need to get into your lifters then don't. Just soak them in good clean oil. That wheel looks good too. So uh, I'm going to inspect these and we'll see what we can find and I'll get back with you. So you can see here we got a little bit of scarring but it's nothing to worry about. This is mostly just a dirt, maybe break in that's hit the wheel once upon a time. Uh, no damage from walking side to side so that one tray is going bad and needs to replace. So I'm going to replace all four of them because we don't need a lifter twisting in the boil. You know, we need them all to fit tight. And I lost track of that tray. I can't, I can't stress enough. If you see one that's starting to crack or anything, replace that lifter or buy a set of lifters. This looks extremely good. All these lifters do. The wheel spins extremely good. Don't feel no catching or nothing in it. Uh, the wheel looks like it ain't been uh, wore down to one side where it would have been twisting in that bore you know as that going on the cam it, it'll wipe the cam out uh to clean these up take you some brake clean spray them off extremely good and then you can take and uh, soak these in oil because brake clean will take every bit of oil off these it will also cause them to rust and you don't want that. So I know a lot of people assemble the engines with these without soaking them in oil. I always soak mine in oil. I got a lot of friends always soak those in oil and never had any issues. Now you can watch other videos online if you actually want to take yours apart and clean them. You can do that because they are some old trapped oil inside these lifters. They always will be unless you take them completely apart. I'm not going to do this because when you take these apart you have a chance of losing the tiny little springs that's inside here or damaging it. That's one way to check for a craps lifter. But this engine that uh, these lifters uh, come out of was actually a running motor. So I know it's good so that's one thing I don't have to check. But you know you can watch a video on disassembling lifters if you want to. Take it one step further. Clean it with brake clean and then we assemble them. I, I don't know I might actually do a video on that. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a video on disassembling lifters. We're assembling them, then putting them together, cleaning them good, checking them. You know, that might be something you guys want to see. 
On a side note, your tray does use special bolts. So keep up with your bolts to your trays. They got a little shank on them. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and set all 16 of these in this box I got here. So I can keep up with them. And uh, I might do a video on a full tear down on some lifters. If not these, maybe another set. Uh, you know, it's a peace of mind. We have got a lot of time into the 6-0 build. If you've been uh, following the channel. If you're new, get subscribed and check in videos out. It should be on an LS and more playlist. Tons of LS content. Trust me. Tons. I try to cover everything. It's one thing about me. So, we got these trays need to be placed. I place an order on these very soon for us so we can have them on the way. Then we'll compare them with the, you know, original ones. I'm going to buy an original GM one. Could buy just a cheap one off, off the internet and compare them. Like a cheap Amazon one. Maybe if I can buy a single one and uh, show you the differences. Or an eBay one. Either way, a cheap one. Uh, I might do that. This is a Max F02 to the 60. Got to hang on to that because we're going to need it if we want a Max F0. Not a speed density. So, as always, if you found this video enjoyable, enjoyed watching, uh, found some knowledge in it, found it helpful, be sure to get subscribed if you're new. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch another one of my videos. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.